I'm not going to go into the way of actually putting compositions together. So if you need to learn about design principles and different approaches, check out my other class Creating Trendy Designs with Abstract Patterns, which is all about that stuff. What I want to concentrate on here is how to treat 3D objects, how to create a consistent look throughout the compositions, and how to take advantage of the 3D effects and other effects to add more depth and volume to your work. When you arrange your 3D elements in the composition, make sure to rotate the elements in the 3D space using the 3D effect you have applied. For this, you can access the settings for each individual object using the Appearance panel. Setting up rotation using the position settings allows you to create tons of variants of the same object, which can make your compositions very playful and dynamic. Make sure to keep light in position, intensity and shade in color consistent throughout all your elements. This will allow you to make your compositions look more realistic and considered. So, when you have applied your surface settings to one object, stick to them. And if anything, copy the appearance styles across from one object to another, as we've done before. If you are applying both extruding bevel and revolve effects within the composition, double check that the surface settings are the same for both effects. To create an illusion of volume and perspective, you can also explore perspective distortion settings in the 3D effects window. If you decide to add perspective distortion to your objects, make sure that you are doing it consistently. After all 3D related questions are resolved, spend more time refining objects' appearances and experiment with different color variants. You can consider using the Recolor Artwork tool, which is located in the Edit menu under Edit Color. I have covered this tool in my other two previous classes, which I hope you have watched. But if not, make sure to check them out if you don't know ins and outs of this very useful tool. Also, consider how you can enhance the sense of depth using different colors. Consider scaling objects differently to create an illusion of depth and move some of them in the foreground and some of them in the background. If you are using any bevel path other than the straight line, or using the offset function for the objects created using the revolve effect, then scaling your objects will affect their shapes. So, if you need to scale such an object, after you have set it up in all other respects, such as light, color, perspective and art mapping, make a copy of it so you can always have a backup. Then hide the original object. Select the new object and go to the menu object and select expand appearance. This will convert your 3D object into a group of 2D paths, which you can now scale as you please. When the composition looks pretty much complete, now we can add a few finishing touches, which will make it stand out even more. 